With the NBA still being shut down, the future of the draft process is still up in the air. Of course, there is the draft, which may be done virtually, but there is also the draft lottery and combine, which have been postponed. The future of the draft is uncertain, but with a definite end to the NCAA games and most international games, the draft prospects are ready to be ranked. Here is my top 10 draft prospects of 2020. Starting us off at number 10 is Vernon Carey Jr. An athletic player who's great in the paint. His only downside is low versatility, which is why we have him ranked so low at number 10. He does shoot 67% from the free throw line. He's not a bad shooter. He just has no three point range. Maybe that's something he can develop at the next level. He certainly got the frame for it standing at 6'10". He averaged 17.8 points per game and 8 rebounds, which is tremendous stats for an NBA power forward. If he can keep up this kind of consistency, shooting 57% from the field, then he'll certainly be an NBA star for years to come. At number 9, we have Killian Hayes, the first and only international prospect on this list. Killian Hayes is a 6'5", athletic sharpshooter with great defense and fantastic passing. He's fantastic at cutting off the passing lane leading to steals and fast break dunks. He knows what he's doing on the court. He shoots 84% from the free throw line which shows composure for a young kid. He has excellent shooting, shooting 45% from everywhere on the court, 6.2 assists a game, 12.8 points, and it's hard to grade Euroleague kids on their points because it gets confusing with all the different tournaments that they play in, but trust me, Killian Hayes a player that an NBA team will want and will succeed with. At number 8 is Anthony Edwards, 6'5", power forward out of Georgia. Honestly, I don't see what all the hype is around this kid. He's supposed to be a projected number one pick, possibly, you know, top three. He's all over people's draft boards and I just don't see why. 19.1 points per game is an impressive stat, but he only shot 40% from the field, and you're, I mean, you're watching his dunks right now. If he's able to dunk like that, then shouldn't that be higher? But the most astounding stat is his three-point percentage, which was only 29%. If he's supposed to be a pure shooter, that's not pure shooter numbers. He did shoot 77% from the free throw line, which is why I think this is just a potential pick. He is a player that you can build. He's a guy that you are going to draft and you're going to build for the next couple of years. Maybe he turns out to be a superstar. He sure has the athletic build, the body, the handles. He's got all the potential parts there, but his game is just too unpolished for me to put him any higher than he is. At number seven is Precious Achua, 6'9", out of Memphis, 15.8 points per game, and over 10 rebounds, almost 11. Now this is a kid I really like. He's athletic, he's big, he can play the four and the five, he can defend both of them, he's got over two blocks a game, he shoots 60% from the free throw line, he is just an all around solid player. If I had to make an NBA comparison for him, I would say he plays most like Anthony Davis. He's got a better three ball than you would expect from a guy with those kind of hops. He shoots 49% from the field and is just an all-around versatile scorer. You put him outside, he can hit the shot. You put him inside, he can back you down and get a dunk. He is a player that is a plug and play. You can put him into any team in the league virtually and he will work. At number six, LaMelo Ball. He has grown to be 6'7", averaging 17 points a game, 7.5 rebounds and seven assists. He has fantastic handles for his size. His only problem is his shooting percentage, which is low at 37%. Now you gotta factor in that he was not on the best team. In fact, he was on the worst team in the NBL, the Illaware Hawks. However, LaMelo Ball is a player with a lot of potential. I only see him as the sixth best player in this draft. But some people have him ranked much higher. I really like his game and the style that he plays at. He has good defense. He has good drive. It's just a lot of questions here with the backstory and the shooting percentage. Will he pan out? No one really knows quite yet. Isaac Okoro out of Auburn, 6'6", 
13 points a game, 51% shooting from the floor, which is a tremendous stat. He had low rebounds for his size at only four. However, he is a fantastic defensive player. His only problems is he struggles with hitting the three. In his highlights, you can see that at times he hits it, but at times he's very streaky, only shooting 29% from the three. In today's game, at that size, you have to have a better three ball to really be a star player. He did shoot 67% from the free throw line, which shows that he has some consistency in his game. He just needs to polish that three point shot, which we've seen players do before. It's not impossible. He can evolve his game, and I think he will. My NBA comparison for him is Kent Bazemore. I think he plays a lot like him. Good defense, not so strong at, the sh at shooting, but overall solid offense. Pump up clutch views. At number four is James Wiseman, the center out of Memphis whose season got canceled early. 19.7 points a game, 11 rebounds on 77% shooting. That is fantastic stats for a big man for any player 70 percent from the free throw line he gets buckets his defense is very questionable he had under a steal and under one block a game which for a 7-1 with a seven foot seven wingspan is terrible he should have had better decision making on defense should have been a better player on offense my nba comparison for him is clint capella he really is just an inside scorer who is a definite lob threat. You throw him the ball on the inside and he will get the job done, but his defense is a lot more questionable than Capella's. He is certainly your best offensive threat from the center position in this draft, but if you can develop his defense correctly, he will be the best player. At number three is Daniel Oturu. He is a 6'10 power forward slash center out of Minnesota, averaged 20 points per game and over 11 rebounds on 56% shooting. He is a guy who will hit your shots. He steps out, he hits mid-range shots, he hits threes. He is a 70% field goal shooter with over two blocks a game. He is fearless, he is smooth, he's not very flashy, which is something that you want to see in a guy on your team as a role player. He works hard, he works off ball screens, he sets screens, he works on plays. He is a fantastic player and someone who I feel is very underrated in this draft. He has the potential to be the best player coming out. He's athletic, he has fantastic defense, he is everything you want in a potential draft prospect. At number two is Cole Anthony, 6'3", point guard, UNC. I got the chance to watch Cole Anthony play in person at the McDonald's All-American game, and he is a player with grit, and he will grind, and he is going to improve. He was stuck on one of the worst North Carolina teams of all time. However, he shined as one of their only players on the field. He shot 75% from the free throw line, he averaged four assists a game and six rebounds, 18.5 points. He is a player with determination, with grit. He has a passion for the game, and his athleticism is unmatched by any other point guard in this class. I would compare him to Russell Westbrook. He has shoot, he has streaky shooting percentages at times, but overall is honestly one of the top prospects of this draft, and for sure the best guard coming. Finally, at number one is Abi Toppin, Naismith Player of the Year. Confidence, 70% free throw shooting, 39% from three point range, and it was a lot higher the season before at 52. He is a guy who is polished, he is already in his prime, and he is only going to succeed in this league. There is a zero chance in my mind that he is a bust. He should be the number one pick overall, and that is a fact. He averages over a block a game, a steal a game. Playing 31 minutes a game with only two turnovers is fantastic. 
He is a sophomore, which means he is way more polished than all these other freshman candidates. He is the best player. I would say his play style is most like LeBron, even though he doesn't play with the cockiness that LeBron does.